So, Liz Truss and Quasi Quarteng have been forced to row back on their axing of the 45 pence top rate of tax after Tory backbenchers spoke out against it and said they wouldn't back it, saying it sends the wrong message to the country at a time of a cost of living crisis. Well, what stopped you this time then? It's the only reason your party exists, isn't it? Ah, but those enormous poll leads for Labour right now must be scaring the ever-living crap out of some of those in marginal seats. The only thing that makes them nervous for their future prospects, working for some wealthy Tory-donating shite hawk, is the threat of losing their seat in the short term. And right now, Truss and Quarte are giving them away. So even the threat of withdrawing the whip has had no impact. Now the fight has moved on to benefits. And in a somewhat surprising move, these same Tory backbenchers are now rallying against that place to not uprate benefits by the rate of inflation. Again, it's the optics in the face of the voting public they're afraid of. Don't believe for one moment they had some damascene conversion about the lowest paid disabled. They don't on the whole vote Tory after all. Paying for corporate tax cuts, the lifting of the banker's bonus cap, and those bungs to the energy companies to offset our bills going up as a result of their greed being paid for via benefit cuts. That's some levelling up agenda going on, isn't it? Universal credit recipients are the ones targeted here, along with working age legacy benefits. And I bang on about this time after time. But 40 percent of people on universal credit are in work. The very lowest paid working people doing jobs that don't pay enough for them to live on. Instead of leveling up so they don't need benefits, Trust and Quartet would strip even more of their means to live off them. Former DWP bosses like Stephen Crabb have spoken out against cutting these benefits. Esther McVeigh, Fester McVeigh, folks, even Fester has spoken out against cutting benefits here. Of course, Truss has her supporters too. Chris Filt, the patsy blamed for suggesting the 45 pence tax rate cut, has said the disabled and anyone working less than 30 hours should be forced to work cleaning parks or scrubbing graffiti for their dole money. Completely ignoring the fact many disabled people cannot because they are fucking disabled, Chris, and many of the lowest paid are already working two or three jobs and still can't make ends meet. There's no more time in the day to work more. Callous cruelty from a man as useful as an arsehole with taste buds with all the intelligence of two brain cells fighting over third place. How much longer are food bank use to be permitted to grow? How many more deaths due to such sick Tory policy because they're still happening even if you stop counting? Another U-turn needs to be forced here.